financially free is a lot for me and a lot of girls out there by the end of this video you're going to learn how you can actually make six figure from the comfort of your house i started my own restaurant at the age of 22 when i was in school governor yahaya bello's wife the director general government as a richer as a contracted chef to some israelite workers head of kitchen a two-time restaurant manager and i actually know what i'm talking about when it comes to food business it's a Mary the Feminist Genie and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. So if this is your first time of being here, you're welcome. I'm called the Feminist Genie because I carry guys matter put for head. I know they carry guys matter play. You know you can't go further without telling you guys stories. I just want to share this story so that some of you that are thinking of loyalty, salary is what you are being paid to forget about your dreams. I did a video on how you can get a job at a franchise restaurant and I used to Chicken Republic for an example. I want to be independent. I want to do something for myself because whatever business you go into and you do for yourself, nobody can take it away from you yeah whatever skill you've learned ideas you have if you are in nigeria i would advise you not to build yourself around someone else's business because at the end the person can wake up one day and tell you oh boy you need to go you're gonna do nothing about it so whatever you build for yourself that's why it's always good to be an entrepreneur because when you build a legacy for yourself and you can actually replicate what you've done over and over again then you can actually look at look at that okay yes i've actually done this thing for myself as a young lady when you occupy some certain position it's a threat to the men the women won't even support their fellow women we're in a society whereby women are not acknowledged or appreciated when I say I'm a feminist, people think that you're a woman that hates men and doesn't shave. Like, I shave literally every time. Equal rights to both the gender. And some men will still come out and tell you, no, there's nothing like equal rights to both gender. Just human rights. If the woman is more qualified, why can't you give the woman? Why should you deprive the woman because she's a woman and then give it to the man that is less qualified? But because she's a woman, she's being stereotyped as weak or incapable so this thing actually pisses me off uh, it's something that happens in the society every day yeah, i'm a graduate but i'm not even going to for an office job like i finished my service like let's say three months ago and i've not even really <laughs> actually carried my certificate i'm like okay let me go to any office and all of that because i just focus on my passion if you're a woman and you don't have any skill is a very wrong idea you should have a skill in those days they told us that education was the key but not now education is just like Okay, well, yes, I go to school. I graduated with second class upper. Yeah, I'm not really, really, really bragging about that because my school stressed the hell out of me. Like, I'm actually traumatized with anything academics. I could read nine hours straight, just for an exam. After going through all the stress, you come out of the school and somebody is telling you that, oh, you can't, you, you can't have this job because you are a woman. Like, I face this, like, literally every time. Because on women, they just feel that, oh, I'm beautiful. All I need to do is to look good. That's why they take every relationship as, oh, you have to give me money, you have to give me money. And sometimes men take advantage of that. They don't even appreciate women that are trying to work hard and be independent for themselves. Will this man give you money tomorrow? Will this man give you money in the next five years, ten years? No. They don't give me fish to eat. Show me how to catch the fish. As close as that person is to you, they are not going to always be there. At the end, you are all you've got. Choose a niche and niche down on that niche. I'm going to niche down what is within the food business that I can actually do and achieve great results. That's what you are supposed to focus on. I'm not going to just come and tell you, oh, you can make six figure monthly. I'm going to tell you the reason why you should start thinking. Just erase that mentality that, okay, somebody's always going to provide for me. Oh, my father is going to give me money. Oh, my boyfriend is going to give me money. My uncle. Just cancel that idea out of your mind because at the end, you're going to be the only one that's going to take that responsibility for yourself. If you can figure out what you want to be and who you want to be at this age, I'm telling you, you're going to find it even easier in your early 30s at this age is that critical period where depression anxiety comes in because you are trying to be financially free and in a society or in a country whereby it's so the economy is so bad and you're trying to like oh how can i scale through yeah we were all born as free men but there are some societal chain economical chain that bans us as human beings as we grow we have to keep on breaking it that's why children they are the happiest because you know they have everything they need they have shelter they don't have to worry about shelter food and all that the adult has to do it but as long as you are an adult now you have to do that for yourself and when you don't want to even take that responsibility people are going to remind you that babe you have to take that responsibility for yourself 
take responsibility for yourself. Your brother is going to take to your face. Your husband will take to your face. Even animals, they will take to your face. People respect value. You know why you get depressed and have anxiety and all of that? It's because you're not getting what you want from life. If you can get what you want from life, the depression and anxiety is a minus. That's why I always see these videos on TikTok that, oh, would you rather be rich and sad or to be poor and happy? And it's actually a contradicting statement, but people will like, oh, I want to be sad and rich. 90% of the reason why you are sad is lack of money. With money, somebody can break your heart and you enter your gutty with a cup of ice cream and you're gonna be good. You go out, go on a vacation and you're gonna feel good. A hungry man is an angry man. You can't make a man that is hungry You have happy. to do something that will impact your life. This topic is very, very critical to me and to all my ladies out there because I know it's not easy to skate through, in, especially if you're in Nigeria. So that's why I'm so excited about this topic, that you guys can actually become financially free, just like I am. It's not that I'm, I'm not at that level yet, like, like okay, I will start being extravagant. But what I'm telling you is that you're gonna be happy. You're gonna have that, no, 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 that satisfaction that you can actually do things that you want to do, and you have a potential of building your business to become an empire. I'm telling you, you have that. 100%. So, Omari Sweet Business. I call it my business, the Omari Sweet Business. Like, okay, I'm just going to start off with one item here. This, um, our, why, 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 why do I always say our? Me and who? Like, this is my new product. This is Addicted Candies. You see, the, 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 the word Addicted Candies is even more catchy. So, if you're going to have a product, the name of your product is catchy. Let it be simple and catchy. So, Addicted Candies, and I'll put traditional sweets. I'm sure if you are from Ghana, Nigeria, where, wherever in African country, you guys have traditional sweets. Even Americans, they have their own traditional sweets. This is a variety of different traditional sweets, about five traditional sweets. So if you are in any part of the country, you can see the packaging is like very solid. That's one thing, like that's where the money is coming from. If you are in any West African country, Africa general, there's, there's no way that you guys don't have a traditional sweet there more on this video i'm going to talk about how you, but i'm not going to go deep on it though how you can actually you can import candies from outside the country and sell as wholesale to company to the supermarkets and I'll, I'll dive into that later let me not digress too far so that's that's it this is one idea here an organic drink guys organic drinks this is yogurt and you see my product is having like the name addicted yogurt this is addicted. All my products are addicted, addicted, addicted. And um, people are actually getting addicted. Like, if I don't make this, people are going to be calling me. Are going to be calling my number. So you have to do something that is unique. You can see there's this strawberry jam. If you want to get the recipe, you can check my YouTube channel. You see the recipe to this strawberry jam. You can actually make your own strawberry jam. And this will make this yogurt unique. I know some challenges that you guys are going to be facing is that, okay, well, uh, you don't have that registration. I can take it to the supermarket and all of that. Like this thing, you are going to, it's a soft work. You have to use your brain. There are some places you can actually supply this. They will not ask you for NAVDAC. Why don't you have NAVDAC number? As long as you have a good product, you're going to have people that are going to love it. Product registration in Nigeria is quite tedious, but you can follow these guidelines step by step to get your product registered with NAVDAC. And this is another organic drink. It's called Bonnet Addicted Tamarind. Since COVID-19 came on point, or oh, on board, people are trying to look for more healthy ways to live. You know tamarind? Let me assume that you know tamarind. What are the organic drinks that are peculiar to you or to your environment, to your country? Oh, you need the organic drink. There's this local drink that you will make. Like in Nigeria, we have Konoaya, Zobo. These are all local drinks that you can actually do and make money in the comfort of your house. Just strategize. I would like to say, know your environment because environment matters a lot and packaging matters too. So this is, uh, this you see, this is another package here. The same thing as this, but it's packaged differently and it's at the same price. So your packaging should be on point because, yeah, 
there's some places you go when they just see the package they don't want to even consider any other factor they're gonna buy it and make sure that you deliver you have quality control whatever you are producing make sure that the quality is always the same you maintain your quality you don't digress and make something different and you calculate your cost and your expenses and what you are getting back in return this is an example of how your record sheet should look like for the month this is how your supply proposal to supermarket should look like like i said know your environment know your environment ask yourself this question okay this is the environment i am this is an urban area a satellite area what are the things that is peculiar to this area ask yourself if you are in the food business ask yourself what are the food that is being requested for in this area then try and provide it if you want to solve your financial problem it's about you knowing what the problem is Okay, I'm in this area. Okay, people they don't have access to quality fish. The fish that they are selling is so bad. Okay, where can I get good fish and how can I sell it to these people? People want to drink something healthy. Seriously, we think that people are still thinking of taking coke in an era where people are becoming more health conscious. They want to take a healthy drink. They don't even mind the price. Like, do you know the price of this? It's actually a wondering era. I'm not talking about working class people that are buying it too. Like normal average person, they want to buy because they like what I do. So you have to make people like what you do, like your product. This one is 1,000 Naira, 400 Naira for supply price and it's been sold for 500 Naira. You have to know what are the demands of the people in this area. Then you know how to come up with your idea and how to sell this. Now that, oh, how do will this thing go bad and all of that. I've had people ask me this question on my YouTube channel that how this yogurt, uh, uh, does it have preservative? I don't use preservative on my yogurt. And that's what even make it more distinctive. Like I said, no preservative. If you can see it clearly, I don't know if you can see it clearly, no preservative because preserve, no preservative will help. Preservative not help anybody. Like preservative is not even a good thing, like the shelf life of the yogurt. So that's why they were like, you use preservative. But I don't use preservative because I don't produce in such a huge quantity that I can't really keep track of. I produce yogurt today now. Tomorrow now I'll have to produce another one. That's how fast my yogurt sells. I get to my point. Even this tamarind, like I sell it like mad. Even this new product now, like I'm selling it like crazy. So what am I saying? You can actually. Okay, I need a break. I need a, I need a food break. Please join me. I need a food break. Mmm. -hmm. All right. And drink water. So where was I? Replicate what I do and see maximum results. See, please, I'm, I, don't, I, I just feel like I should beg you people to actually try this. Getting to do something that works for us. Okay, we try this, we try that. None of it is working. Then you give up. You don't give up because now who give up? Now you lose. So you keep on trying till you get that thing that you're looking for out of life. Life doesn't just happen to you. You have to create that value for yourself. People don't just give you respect. Respect is being earned. You have to earn it by improving yourself, your skill, improving your body, improving your mentality. To so, all oh my ladies, it's not just a video for me. It's a video for you guys. I really want you to succeed and I want you to start texting me because I'm going to reply to all your comments. So if you are new here and you have not yet smashed that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Like, smash that subscribe button because you want to get the latest updates about what I do, like, guys. Because I'm on top of your matter. I'm on top. You, okay, let me not be sentimental because the guys are going to start thinking, oh, so this, this video is just for the, the girls. Like, a guy, yeah, of course, is for, um, but it's for my girls, though. You want to know girls' secrets? Come to my channel. Girls are so complicated. Then, eh? when you ask the girls, the girls are saying, guys are so complicated. This is the side hustle, yeah? But seriously, a side hustle can become your main source of income. What you do for others is for others. They might appreciate it like for that main time, but just do one wrong thing. All the good you've done, they will erase it out. At the end, people that are meant to die poor will die poor. If poverty is in my family, I'm going to break that yoke. What are you going to tell your children? That I couldn't fight hard, work hard, and that's why I failed. What does they used to say? Oh, uh, my children, my children will make it in life. Oh, we, we can't go to school again. No. Oh, we can't do this again. No. We can't achieve anything again. No. Time has gone. And that's how they waste their lives. I'm sorry, I, I call it a waste. 
I call it a waste because there's more to life than getting married and having kids. Don't think I'm digressing from my topic. You know me, yeah, I want you to make money, but the, the real change is in your head. Wow, it's sour. There's some people that have this poverty mentality. They believe in working for someone and that's it. The people that really build the world, that build the society, they build it with their sweat and blood. They are willing to go the extra mile to do what it takes, whatever it takes to even get to that point that you're seeing them. So if that's the mentality of the world, you tell yourself that you as a woman, you're not a sex body. What a man can get from you is not sex. You to sit down as a woman look pretty. So women are so dependent on a man that when the man goes, they lose everything. A woman is mentally stronger than a man. A woman can combine a lot of things and she doesn't get confused. I didn't really dwell more on this. Yes, and because very soon we're gonna have an online course whereby all my recipe like if you check on my channel you're gonna see all my recipe i'm not gonna tell you how you can actually start your own youtube channel without if i tell you what i'm using for my youtube <laughs> oh my goodness if i tell you what i'm using if you say if i tell you how i started my youtube channel you'll be like really the journey of a thousand miles starts with a step take that step don't give up if there's anything i've always look up to is how to impact life to make that voice have an expression and how to share that voice to the world and this is the platform for that and that's why i'm going to actually keep you up to date with things that actually will transform your life just the way it has transformed my life and it's transformed my life it's a journey yeah and we're going to get there together bye bye bye